Ganges, unquestionably the holiest river in the whole world. Legend has it that after Bhagiratha did penance for thousands of years, Siva, the compassionate Lord, sent the Ganges down from heaven. In this Kali age, that same compassionate Lord in human form has created a new Ganges to quench the thirst of millions even without waiting for their prayers. In other words, this is the story of Satyasai Ganga bringing relief to millions in Chennai, putting an end to almost 50 years of suffering caused by acute drinking water shortage. Our story begins in the early 1600s when the British landed on the east coast of South India. Here the British built a fort, Fort St. George, that stands to this day. And around this fort grew the city of Madras, now known as Chennai. Right from the beginning, Madras faced water shortage. In 1886, the British built a dam across a neighboring river and used that water both for irrigation and for drinking. As years passed by, more reservoirs were added and they were networked. But all this was not enough and something more had to be done. Madras or Chennai receives water mainly during the northeast monsoon. But the northeast monsoon is fickle and often fails. By contrast, the Krishna River is fed by the southwest monsoon and receives plenty of water. By 1950, it was clear that Krishna water alone could relieve the drinking water problem of Chennai. Years passed and nothing happened until in 1983, M.G. Ramchandran, then Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, met N.T. Ramarao, then Chief Minister of Andhra. NTR had already made grand plans to harness Krishna water for irrigation via his Telugu Ganga scheme. NTR agreed to accommodate MGR's request as a part of his Telugu Ganga scheme. A little later, the scheme for supplying Krishna water to Chennai was formally inaugurated by Indira Gandhi. In this scheme, water was to be first drawn from the Krishna River at Sri Salem. This water was then to be taken to Somasila Reservoir. From Somasila, the water was to be sent next to the Kandaleru Reservoir. From Kandaleru, a special canal roughly 150 kilometers long was to take water to Chennai. This canal was then called the Kandaleru Pundi Canal. In 1996, the Kandaleru Pundi Canal, whose construction was started in 1983, was formally declared open. Water was released from the Kandaleru Reservoir but very little of that water reached Chennai. Dreams built over the years lay shattered. The city had grown meanwhile, thanks especially to the IT boom, making the drinking water situation even worse. To add to the misery, in recent years, 
the northeast monsoon failed repeatedly leaving all the reservoirs completely dry this was the state of the pundi reservoir then this state continued till such a sai ganga water came recently to chennai this was the state of red hills lake during the drought This shows how the canal leading to the Pundi reservoir looked then. No water. This is a view of the spot where the canal water is supposed to enter Pundi. Thanks to drought, temple tank now becomes a cricket ground. In every street and slum people anxiously waited for tanker water Often people had to wait till night since one could not say when the tanker would come to supply water to the city the municipal authorities brought water through pipes from aquifers outside the city to various pump houses in city there the water was filled into tankers Here we see tankers leaving after getting filled. Municipal water supply was very restricted. Only 3 buckets per family. That is when private operators enter the tanker business. The water that the private operators supplied was dirty though the rates were high. at times as much as a thousand rupees per tanker we see here a municipal tanker arriving to deliver water to a particular locality the tanker leaves after filling the local syntex tank following which people collect their share These people have had to wait till night for water delivery. This has been the situation day after day till such as I Ganga water reached Chennai recently. <laughs> 